hello and welcome to another session of this candle counting or should i say card counting um example and also i kind of want to create a more elaborate teaching on understanding the basic sequence of card counting okay so card counting basically is an art that is practiced by a few people who understand the logic behind the numbers in deck of cards when it comes to the casino gamblers and one of the things that you have to pay attention to as a card counter is the sequence that repeats in time fractals and aligning those sequences over certain um over certain timelines to be able to perfectly define reversals continuations retracements and even to time your trades to know exactly when to enter and when to exit okay so when we're working with sequences this is a perfect ex example of the 1 3 7 13 21 33 sequence you could use 31 which is this red candle for your exit okay you don't need to reach 33 but I stop counting at 33 and then I begin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so I begin I begin count again from this place as 1 so one of the things that I want you to focus on is identifying or recognizing this basic sequence in price delivery if you can find it how to align it to the lower time frames would be easier okay it would be easy I will try my best to make sure I do a perfect elaborate example on how to align time frames next but I felt the need to make sure that you understand the working principle behind um, sequences because the last video was not um, as elaborate as I wanted it to be but this one should cover a lot of um, questions asked and also um, give you information in regards to how these sequences can be applied I want to use the Nasdaq um, the one hour time frame to illustrate the second sequence okay this is the one five nine seventeen twenty five and thirty seven sequence okay so we have one two why do we begin counts at this longer candle and not this one because it's the one that made the highest high okay so when we are counting bullish we, when we are counting bullishly we ignore the red candles and start from the green when we are counting bearishly we ignore the green candles and focus on the red okay we ignore the green candles and we focus primarily on the red so we start from here one two three four and then five right six seven eight nine nine is volatile it's always going to be the number with the highest volatility okay so nine is in the vortex mathematics is known as the completion number okay so it's one of the most powerful number because every single other number in vortex adds up to nine so you you keep counting until you reach 17 you could close your trade at 17 okay this is your contraction sequence even though most of what we see here is expansion but it's a contraction sequence and and around 17 we count onto 25 and then 25 we see that 37 gets back to be retraced up into this high which is kind of a reversal okay but what we're expecting in this basic sequence is either to close at 25 or we hold till 17 it's that simple so you would enter at the fifth candle and wait till the seventh candle and close your trade so what time is this six o'clock 
down to eight o'clock in the evening okay that's eight o'clock in the evening and heading towards nine o'clock or thereabouts it's kind of blurry so this is how we make sense of time frames uh, of um sequences and how we use them appropriately and i want you to in this other section okay i want you to pay attention to this current if you can if you can frame certain setups right based upon these patterns it becomes easier it's almost like a stool it's yeah the word is algorithmic okay you can time exactly when to enter and when exactly to when to exit it's that simple you can you can you can literally you can literally play around with um all that you want to do in terms of price action basically using these patterns and one of the things that one of the things that this would aid you to do is be able to time where reversals where continuation would be and where you're most likely to face consolidations now take a look at this we have the 1 3 7 13 21 31 candle so it means you start from an obvious high please take note of that you count three candles and at the seven candles it made a high and then broke down and stopped at 13 okay so primarily at 13 you would enter okay you enter up until 31 so this would be your reversal number and it is based upon other time frames agreeing to the fact that this is a point for a reversal okay now you can start from here where you take your trade at the third candle or the sixth and then you wait till the nine nine would kind of chop around and then nine becomes delayed okay from nine we have a delay in price or price contraction or price yeah contraction before we reach 15 okay and then from 15 we pushed higher into 34 okay so we can start from here also three three candle move a short time retracement usually maybe two or one candles or three candles that we just push lower then higher it goes to seven and then from seven it sweeps the low notice it sweeps the low sometimes there'll be contraction within this place before it sweeps the low but we ignore the contraction okay those consolidations that would be short-lived okay but we ignore those and then at the 13th we're expecting a continuation up into 21 so this would be our continuation our continuation pattern and then this one here we start from one three candles retrace may happen at the seventh it's similar to this right 13 becomes our reversal so this is just the bearish scenario of it this is the bullish this one this is the bearish scenario of this one so it's simple okay you just look at them and yeah almost the same thing primarily so this one goes here by five candles it goes nine from this nine candle once i've seen one five nine i know that the next candle will be 15 i could be riding the wave down here down to 15 and i know that 15 would be reversing up into 17 there'll be contraction on the way and uh, when we reach the 17 candle i close my bullish trade and then i sell off from there down into 25 candles the, the 25th candle okay so you could you could use this in any sense or any regard you 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 feel like okay you could take multiple trades as the price is moving and all of this is framed based upon aligning time frames okay now um consolidations right consolidations they take 10 to 20 candles to finish expansions take four to seven candles this is not a constant okay sometimes it can take five 
sometimes it can take even up to 7 and 13 and 21 expansions like i've literally seen green 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 21 times but the most repeating instances the ones that continue to happen and populate the market is mostly you see four and seven reversal similar manner we could go up for 13 candles and then at that 13 candle remember the previous one remember this we could be going high as as long as 13 candles and then at the 30 candles will just be reversing okay sometimes it could be going high as much as 21 candles so 13 and 21 candles are the perfect alignment for a reversal when you have a 21 at the high or maybe a 13 at the high and maybe it's also aligning with a 13 on in on on a four hours time frame and maybe this is the hourly i would immediately start to frame or refine down to the lower time frames in my account so that I'll be able to use that information to go short because I know that we've reached a, a, a very major top and we're reversing same goes for retracement but this is the three and four retracement okay um, it mostly mostly occurs within three candles and four candles but I've seen nine and seven retracement instances before so it can happen that way but this is like a repeating instance that re occurs all the time in the marketplace okay so this is common three is common four is common in the marketplace you can see that and if i see four candles one two three four and it's within a retracement and the next candle i see is bullish after the fourth and okay this retracement may just ended so on the fifth candle i'll be framing an entry up into a continuation that would be my target of 13 or 21 where i know a reversal might occur so primarily this is how we time the market okay this is how we can time the market basic sequence are very easy to spot and primarily this is what i'm trying to build as a mind state for a mindset for all of the viewers that comes to this channel i want you to first of all have it in mind that if you cannot see these things as clear as they are it is not for you do not try to force the sequence into play just work with what you can see it's as simple as that if you can't see it look at this sequence this is an hourly candle each one of them if you're able to enter here you'll be closing your trade the very next day you don't even have to frame a setup for the next day. You're waiting for each candle to just literally print you money up until the 33rd candle or maybe you could close at the 31. Okay? So it's primarily that way all the time in the market. Repeating always a phenomenon that happens every single day. Instances that does not fail. Sometimes failed instances are actually um they're actually good because immediately when you see a failed instance you know okay well the move that i know was measured towards that same direction has changed into a different one so now i'm more positioned to ride with the trend in the opposite direction of what my expectation or my early expectations were so primarily what i'm trying to say is even failed instances can give you an advantage you can spot them and you would know when they occur okay so one of the things that i want to build up first is your ability to recognize basic sequence like this one 159 17 25 and 37 and then the other one 137 13 21 and 31 as the case might be so i stop at 33 but the the sequence ends at 31 okay sometimes you can go even further than that but i'm just kind of like advising not forcing you into a mode because there are many many ways to study this and i want you to primarily just focus on learning these patterns and spotting them in the marketplace go to the marketplace and just literally watch your charts for when you can see these 
and then the five minutes time frame four minutes time frame just get used to looking at them and knowing okay this is the one that uh, we are working with currently okay so apparently if you have any question you can just send it to send it to me on my email or you could just simply um, write it right down under the video in the comment section I'll sit down I'll read it and I'll incorporate the answer um, in the next video so if you have any question don't forget to ask and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video ciao